Hooray, we're going to be finishing up the Wind Temple this time. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Are you ready, McCarr? Let's go! You know, you could throw him down there so you not take damage. This is faster. <laughs> it's funny because um, we, we were talking about how this is one of the more fun dungeons in the game, but it turned out not to be so great to talk over. <laughs> well, who wants to listen to us talk anyway? Well, not me. Yeah, get out. Well, I, I assume <laughs> that's why people are subscribed to a channel called Brain Scratch Commentaries. I mean, we might just possibly be one of the two Let's Play channels on the planet who don't get those comments saying, "Why are you talking over the cutscenes?" It's a Let's this play. is why. This is why I subscribe to Comment. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have commentary in our name, so if anyone were to give us one of those bullshit comments, they'd have no excuse. Oh, I thought those was things in MMOs. That's commendations, you idiot. For, you know what? For, for, for the longest times, I thought you guys were a uh, ASMR channel because you were always doing the brain scratchings. And that gives me the tingles in my head. <laughs> Speaking of tingle, he's ah! in Zelda, which is what we're playing right now. Let's see what you did Make there. Make it open. Yeah, care. buddy. Get over here, you crazy <laughs> bug. I'm your baby now, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, that just got strange. That's a uh, that's that that's in the uh, in the new Nightmare on Street reboot. Freddy just very confused. Oh, I'm your child no, wait, wait, wait. now, I'm Nancy. Your baby now. Wait, wait, that's that's um that's already been done. I think that's wait, which one was it? Night, Night part, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part Five: The Dream Child. That was already done. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Wait, what? But that was it, Nancy. That was it, Nancy. That was that was Alice. Oh, hello, Nancy. That was that was the other girl. Yeah. Okay, you Tuesday. would not believe how often that shit happens when you're playing Elder Scrolls in first person. Enemies just what? popping up <laughs> as you turn around, is? right in front of you, and then whacking you with their sword. Fuck. Ryan, me. how did how did you get this exclusive footage of Breath of the Wild? Look at he's got the bow, <laughs> he's got the tunic on. <laughs> Enix confirmed here for real. Can we I, honestly at the? No, seriously, Ted, you gotta say that it's not gonna come out right. Uh, Honestly, I just want them to to say something about it because I'm so sick of everybody posting a new rumor every five minutes, and yeah, know. Derek, <laughs> jeez, hey, you leave Mister Game Explain out of this. He doesn't make rumors; he just reports on them. So if some five year old in a playground says, "I think the NX <laughs> is gonna dispense lollipops," he's he is duty Breaking bound. News. He is duty bound to report on that as a journalist. Yeah, Derek is there with a notepad, and then he gets arrested. <laughs> <laughs> We love you. We love you, Derek. <laughs> I saw this image of Derek just being like a self-hating game junior. Like, I hate this shit, but I need to report on fucking everything. He is, he is hiding in dumpsters in Japan, <laughs> waiting for the biggest news updates. He's been, he's been hiding in, in me and my own Then how does he do 12 Pokemon analysis every every minute, then? He has a, he has a laptop. Oh, okay. <laughs> every, every minute. It's a MacBook. <laughs> oh, perfect. Po that, Pik <laughs> Pikachu is a Pokemon gold. Done. No, seriously, where the fuck is the NX? I do like how when you get the Master Sword, I mean, you barely see it because of the shield, but when you get the Master Sword, the sheath is updated, too. It's a fancy sheath. Where, yeah, where does he even get that? <laughs> where does he get those wonderful toys? Well, you know, it might be the sheath that goes with the Virgil Sword in Devil May Cry, where the sheath literally materializes along with the sword just so you can hold it in your hand and, and uh, do draw cuts with it. I'm not even kidding about that. When uh, Dante I, uses I, the sword, yeah, I was uh, like, "What's the point of that? <laughs> if he magically keeps the sword away, then why the fuck do you have a sheath in the first place?" <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, in um in Yam in, in Yamato's case, it's because um the draw cut is part of the uh, the Yamato fighting style. Like, if I remember correctly, Yamato's basic three hit combo is two wax with the sheath and then draw the sword. <laughs> it hits you twice with the thing. It's like, okay, I'm done fucking with you now. You can die now. Yeah, that's pretty much how Virgil plays it. <laughs> Only he makes it sound a lot less funny than you do. Motherfucker, scary. Are we talking DMC three Virgil? Or uh, DMC three four? Virgil. It's 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 that kind of it's it's that kind of exaggerated anime katana fighting style where he'll slice you in two and have plenty of time to very slowly sheathe his sword before you fall apart. How can you take him seriously with that near chipmunk like voice he has? <laughs> DMC three. What about a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom three 
Virgil. <laughs> I don't even remember that. Also known as Wreck Your Shit Virgil. A.K.A. the only character people play other than Doctor Doom in Zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on basically. <one> team. <laughs> Virgil is freaking beastly, man. And here I am playing as Arthur, crying and crying in the corner. <laughs> no, no, Arthur's super hardcore. You just don't understand. He'll win evil one day. You leave the odd walk alone. Part of the reason I haven't recorded Devil May Cry 3 yet is because I want to show off Virgil, but that necessitates actually learning how to play as him again. <laughs> that that constitutes playing the actual game. 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 <laughs> and I don't want to do that. I, no, I, I rarely actually play as Virgil. He's fun while you're playing as him, but when you're you know trying to get good at the game, you, you tend to gravitate toward Dante because he's just got more to him. Is it... Um, I don't know. I... Um, okay then. <laughs> um, like, <laughs> um, does Dante, like, have more moves, or, um... Dante has much more stuff, many more styles. Yeah, um, Virgil has it, just the one style, Dark Slayer. It's a, it, it's a style that's based around teleportation. Uh, in Devil May Cry 4, he also has the Concentration Gauge on top of that, which, um, basically gives your attacks more power if you're slow, meticulous, and don't miss any of your swings. Uh, but Dante has four distinct styles. In Devil May Cry 4, he can switch between them mid-combo. Um, and he also has a, uh, uh, he's also the character that gets to switch weapons all the time. So. Okay, so if you, basically, if you're playing as Dante, you can switch styles whenever it's convenient. But if you're playing as Virgil, you're stuck as Virgil. Okay. Yeah, well, it, 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 it's two, it's two things. Uh. Not only do you have four styles as Dante, but each, but but two of the styles, uh, Gunslinger and Swordmaster, actually give you more moves based on what 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 weapon you're using. Like Gunslinger style gives every gun a secondary attack command. A Swordmaster style does the same for your melee weapons. So just oh, just man, just, I didn't know we we're playing Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> just lacking that, um, will seriously. Um, limit your ability to act oh well oh were you making fun of the block, block pushing <laughs> no <laughs> no I think he was talking about Tales of Symphonia's combat because Tales of Symphonia's combat is uh, pretty complex no no the block I was making fun of the block pushing I was just being sarcastic oh okay but although the Tales of Symphonia does have a lot to its combat um, honestly... Well, they make up for that, the fact that you can control up to four characters at once. So. At once? Like, I, you, you, can, you, you can switch between characters in, in the middle of a fight? Yeah. I don't yeah, remember yeah. being able to do that. That would have made the game a lot more fun. I just played as Lloyd the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. There was Why does block there. pushing have to be so goddamn slow in Zelda? Okay, this is a problem with every game, and Link pushes blocks like they're giant and heavy or something. Wuss. It's almost like they're giant and heavy. <laughs> How does he pull them? He, like, he literally just digs his hands and pulls them. How? His, he just does. Yeah, his arms... With, you need to, like, bear hug the thing, and Link's arms are literally not long, long enough. You have points to Kratos, God of War, who's seeing it soon. He fucking kicks the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, the, um, uh, the pulling blocks thing... Actually, did make some sense in Legacy of Cain when Raziel did it. I knew it. you. I knew you were gonna bring no, up Legacy no, of Cain. I'm Kane. going somewhere with this because because he has uh, fucking claws, man. It makes yeah, sense. Yeah, he 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 digs the claws into the into the stone. You hear the chink as they go in, and yep. then you can push and pull as you want. And even it's though the still, game it's still slow as shit, though he still well, yeah, pulls it, and drags it, them it, slow it, as it, shit. It's slow as shit. Even though uh, the Elder God gives you this hand wavy line about how your your physical strength is greater than it was in life. Yep. Yeah. God damn, that game was good. God damn, that game. Where's Where's my Legacy of Kane movie? Damn it. Were they working on one? No, but I want it because that, that just that opening cuts in there is one of the best, one of the most cinematic things they ever put in a game. Fucking love that shit. Uh, all right, here's the thing that really hurts. We were going to get another Legacy of Kane game, but uh, they scrapped it and used the assets for Nosgoth, that MMO oh, thing. Oh, you those fucks. 
Was it was it going to continue the story? Or was it going to be like a reboot? It, it was gonna it was gonna go off on its own story direction. Actually, the story was apparently based uh, around a human and a vampire who got stuck in some sort of psychic bond, and had to work as a team. Which isn't a totally original story at all, but the gameplay looked pretty interesting. Uh, from so so little... so no Raziel, no Raziel or Kane is going to be completely new no. characters. Yeah, well, oh, okay. from what we've seen, no idea gotcha. whether or not they would have factored into the story. But the thing is, uh, Amy Hennig, the um, uh, the lead writer for the series, yeah, yeah. is not with them anymore. She was, is or was with Naughty Dog. Oh. I know she worked on the Uncharted series, which is pretty cool, actually. So that's why those vampires in that game. Okay. <laughs> wow. She's a really good writer, so. See what I like that dude. That the, the fucking the uh, legacy of Kane. The f second one got some issues in the story, but the first one is damn good. When are you guys are gonna record that game? Ask Lewis. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll I'll do the whole series at some point. It's just fuck yeah. It's a series that I'd have to do. <laughs> I think Lewis's eyes just beamed with. <laughs> with, with, with cheering is like a fellow legacy of dude you player. you guys you guys better get me in for Soul Reaver I fucking love that game <laughs> fucking love okay. Soul Reaver well I I have to do the whole the whole series but the thing is that means starting with Blood Omen 1 and Blood Omen 1 is obnoxious if you're going for completion I've I, I've heard Blood Omen 1 is not a very good game I haven't played it myself I've just from what I've read it's it, not people don't amazing like it. it's not terrible though it's just archaic as shit <laughs> Wait, so sorry. is this Mulgara is the name of the boss? I think so. I'm sorry, okay. the game was so dusty and old that just talking <laughs> about it sent me into a hacking fit. <laughs> yeah, I like I like how, how Lewis starts like ch coughing, possibly choking at death, and Ted's just like, Duh, what's the name of this boss? Your friend was choking, Ted, <laughs> you heartless bastard. <laughs> He's fine. Yeah, it's Mulgara. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because this He's fine. this this song gets a badass remix in Hyrule Warriors Legends, so I just wanted oh, to bring hey, that, that bring that look, up. Look, it's it's that one boss from Super Mario Galaxy, except slower. Hey, they bring it, they bring it, they bring this boss back for Pikmin Three as well. You know, hide it. It's almost the exact same boss. Now I'm thinking about like hiding in the sand, the differing, like when the boss pops up, the sand like brings down and stuff. It's yeah, Nintendo, we give them shit for uh, head and two hands. It's also in Star Fox Zero. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the giant worm. So, the giant space yeah. worm. It's also ripped out of Beetlejuice, Titanium. all right? No one says that I will. This Nintendo ripped off Tim Burton. You fucks. Yeah, but Tim Burton deserves it. He does. Tim Burton's a fucking hack. Sandworms. Hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate sandworms. They're coarse and they get everywhere. Uh. Whoa! He missed! The Hobbit movies have ruined sandworms for me because that was just so freaking pointless. Let's go watch Dune instead. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I still need to see Dune. That's on my to-do list. It's on your to-do list. Hey, uh, good one, John. yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like it here. You invited me. Fuck you. It's just, I, I don't know. Uh, the, 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 the burrowing worms that apparently work for the orcs in, in the Hobbit movies. When I saw that, I was just like, well, why don't you just have them eat the elves? Um. <laughs> Someone get this guy out of here. Lewis, you're clearly doing too much thinking at the moment. And uh, it's if you read the books, it's explained. And uh, so that's no, why not. you can't question not anything in the, in the movie because <laughs> Lord of the Rings is perfect. Yeah, no, no, and if you he, but he's right. <laughs> in the book, they're explained because they're not fucking there. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is perfect. I uh, how dare you try to make fun of them, Lewis? <laughs> Get out. I, ne I never watched the the second or third Hobbit movie. I saw the first one and I was like, I'm good. That's enough Hobbit for me. I never need to see another one again. Like my my only persistent problem with the Lord of the Rings movies is that Frodo is a bit underwhelming because he took away some of his good moments, uh, or in one case gave gave one to Arwen. But uh, the Hobbit movies, like, they're great when Bilbo is on screen, <laughs> but which is like thirty percent of the time. No, like, but. Like all the stuff they added in to lengthen the 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 story into three goddamn movies is just ugh. You know, I'll, I'll cut them some slack for making a whole lot of stuff about the Battle of Five Armies because in the book, the Battle of Five Armies just sort of comes and goes while Bilbo is unconscious. But um, yeah. Man, these worms are having a damn good time. 
Yeah, dancing worms. Dancing sandworms. It's kind of creepy, with, like the three glowing eyes, and when their mouths are closed, it looks like a giant set of pearly whites. Oh, another game that ripped this off! Super Mario Sunshine! Yes, I know Super Mario I am going to say, I like the, the undulating sand effect. Yeah. Looks good. I, I'm a sucker for transforming environment pieces. And robots. <laughs> well, yeah, but there are no <laughs> robots, robots on robots. screen right Gotta have now. robots. Gotta, gotta have robots. God damn it, Link, stop letting him eat you. <laughs> We're like the sandworms are getting in the way. They take care of the sandworms. I mean, I, this boss monster is really charitable. Because, like... <laughs> It, he gives money to orphans every Christmas. <laughs> no, well, yeah, but he probably does because you know what? Every time he <laughs> swallows Link, he's nice enough to spit him back out. It's like, okay, you had a good shot. Try that again with feeling this time. Here you go. Save the animals. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Did Ganon just run out of cold, heartless monsters and was just stuck with this one to guard the the treasure? <laughs> Yeah, which he agreed to because he's just that fucking nice. Now, Mul Mulgara, when the hero comes, you need to devour him and crush his flesh. Yeah, but, like, well, he's trying really hard, sir. Maybe we should, you know, <laughs> give him another shot? <laughs> uh. Oh, thank God the dungeon's done. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a small it's I don't know if you call it a nitpick. I know I know it's all to, all to do with money, but sometimes when you hear that kind of really bad fake orchestral synth, my ears just want to bleed. Uh, yeah. Oh, have you ever played Kingdom Hearts two? Well, uh, yeah, King, oh God, Kingdom Hearts two, <laughs> fucking the 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 uh, cutscenes in in Sonic Colors, like oh God, there's so many things. Just like just hire a fucking orchestra, Nintendo. You you have enough money. You have enough money, but you can hire an orchestra for every single game you ever make for the rest of your company's existence. Here's a question. Have fake orchestra sounds gotten better over time, or are they still just as bad as in the PS2 era? No, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do, because the, um, the fake... The, the uh, cutscene music in DuckTales Remastered is all used in fake orchestras, but Jake Kaufman's synth is just uh, good. I guess it just depends what program you're using. If you're going to have a fake orchestra, for the love of Christ, give your composers good synth quality. So basically, get whatever Jake Kaufman's using. Jake <laughs> Kaufman, or, or Richard Jake's, because the cutscenes in Black Knight all fake, but they sound real good. Um, the 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 mute is the is the actual stage music in Black Knight with orchestra, or is that fake too? Um, no, normally the the at least with Sega, if it, if you hear like an instrument in a level, eight times out of ten it's normally real. So in Black Knight, yes, like Misty Lake is all live instruments. Uh, what is about they, uh, what is called uh the. That's oh, that's that's fake. That that's fake. Oh, but that's my favorite song you, in the game. Damn it! If you if you hear violins, they the violin is normally real. Sometimes, sometimes with the brass, not so much. Okay. The, okay. Uh, so of the two things going on on screen right now, we picked the fake leaf violin to focus on rather than the the magical sword that 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 slays evil. Oh, it's a Zelda game, Lewis. They all fucking have those. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the Wind Waker, not the Master Sword. <laughs> uh, Gareth, but if you were ta uh, thinking about like the the actual boss music, uh, Hyrule Warriors, they remix the the same boss theme with real instruments, and it's gorgeous. It's one of the best. See that. That's why that company needs to make every Zelda game ever. Uh, Toei take, take, Toei Tecmo? I agree. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> take take Zelda away from Nintendo. They haven't done anything right with it in 70 years. And give it to that company so they can just make pointless hack and slashes for now to the end of time. So tell us something to stream every Tuesday. Yeah, the 30, the 70 year uh, legacy of The Legend of Zelda just had its 30th anniversary <laughs> this year. <laughs> <laughs> And I bring up Kingdom Hearts 2 specifically, PS2 version, because by 2.5 HD Remix, they got a full-out orchestra for it, and it sounds magnificent, but holy shit. I mean, and I like Yoko Shimomura, because she, I think she's a fantastic composer. And some, uh, it's weird, because sometimes a strong melody can uh, can overpower, like, bad synth. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts, I would say even, even one, like, some of the... Uh, the sim choices are just like, this just sounds like fucking Rugrats music. I think just... one did it better, though. By two, someone really fucking loved that fake violin, and I hated <laughs> it. The, um, I'm thinking of the, the Pirates of the Caribbean song in particular, because I haven't... Oh, I, it sounds awful. I, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 2, but I, ha I, I love that theme song for Pirates of the Caribbean, so I looked yep. it up for Kingdom Hearts, Good and thing. oh god. 
I still think it's bullshit that they don't play the fucking Aladdin theme anywhere. Where's the fucking Aladdin theme? Uh, what one are you talking about? The Arabian Nights, that one, or yeah, well, any of them? There, there's like no Aladdin. There's like no music unless I am misremembering. I don't remember in one or two there being any kind of licensed Aladdin music in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, do they just no make like why. generic Arabian sounding stuff then? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah generic Arabian. Like cause it's because they got like they, they got Power of Caribbean. They got the fucking Night Before Christmas. Always sounds great whenever you got Halloween Town. You know, like Winnie the Pooh, they got, but like Aladdin, like they got like uh, Lion King, they had Little Mermaid, but no fucking Aladdin, and that annoyed me because Aladdin has such good music. Yeah. See, my man agrees with me. He knows. Oh, he's playing Just Dance Five. <laughs> DDR got a lot weirder in the stop. Legend of Zelda. Disco Stew's gonna teach you how to move. <laughs> <laughs> Disco Shrew can still bug a loop. <laughs> uh, your fish are dead. Yeah, I know. I can't quite didn't get him out of there. <laughs> so you learn this game's version of the Sun Song, like, at the last 30%. Okay. I mean, granted, that's better than Twilight Princess, where you never learn a way to pass time at all. But... <laughs> <laughs> Still. Mrs. Joy, help me. I'm seeing delusions of this old man in my head. <laughs> 24 butterfly necklaces. Happy birthday. <laughs> I keep seeing an Elvis impersonator, and this planet has no fucking Elvis Presley. What's going on? I'm so scared. <laughs> I like how the, the moment you t you give her one, she says, Oh, but I actually want 20. What the fuck are you going to do with 20 of those? Women in series, they look exactly the same. It's like it's, it's like Marge Simpson's draw of yet of orange necklaces. Why do you have that many? <laughs> or uh, Charlie Brown's closet with Charlie Brown. <laughs> I think they do make that joke in the in the Peanuts movie where his closet's just all that same. Yeah, shirt. yeah. Well, they they've done that. I remember they did that in Doug. An episode of Doug. They did. I don't know why I remember that. Wait, yeah. The hold on, like... hold on a moment. Doug tells jokes. <laughs> uh, no, Doug is a joke. <laughs> Doug is a joke. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how. Okay, you bring her twenty random ass butterfly pendants, and she gives you a cabin. Uh, I wish it were that easy to get a home in real life. I would know. I want to say I, I I question this grown woman's use of the word bachelor pad to a ten year old. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm gonna give you your own bachelor pad. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, it's bachelor pad, not bachelorette. Teachers get fired Ooh, for that shit. Who's what I'm house saying. is this? I don't know how things go in high rule, but that shit don't fly around from. I agree though. I wish we could just get our own housing just by giving joy pendants. You know, the security the teachers by the month. To teachers, I got twenty joy pendants. The fuck is that? Oh, they didn't buy it. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So that's why. You see, I was trying to look for my own place the other day. I, I showed the landlord about. Uh, 15 dead butterflies, and they called the police. I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this girl. I completely forgot about her. Stealth section. Now, she was originally uh, the rich girl of this island. Yes. And then after she was kidnapped by Ganon and she got back to the island, she's now the poor girl. She's been She essentially swaps places with the other girl. Yeah, because she says that her father spent all their money trying to get her back. That's depressing. Uh, yeah. Actually, I like this little side story thing. And then you go to the other girl who's now the rich girl, and you find out that she's in love with the Moblin. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a strange little side story thing that's going on. She was a girl. He was a Moblin. Can I make it any more obvious? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the... Um, I do like the fact that they did something with the other hostages, rather than just... Saying, oh, you rescued them now. They're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you rescued them now. That's good, I guess. Uh, don't go away. <laughs> nah, it's just like... Away with you. I don't need you uh, there, there, There's some consequence going on. Stop stepping on that cat. <laughs> <laughs> that poor dying giraffe. I thought I was making a cat noise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wants to help me milk my cat. <laughs> Uh, so do we get, like, a heart piece for this, or is this required? Wait, that's Link making the noise? 
Yeah, yeah. this Link making. Oh man, this Link is such a betrayal. Link's not supposed to talk. <laughs> he doesn't talk. <laughs> Excuse me, Ted. I knew it. Link's part cat. My fan fiction is correct. Now, basically, you have to keep trying to do this every night until you can catch her in the act of stealing. If you do get spotted, she's off, and you have to do the song of passing again to get her to go back to where she started, I think. An ally of justice. An ally of justice! That was been watching too much Tokusetsu. Now, here's my thing. She feeds you this impulse line every time, even though you could possibly have been following her to this exact same spot for upwards of five nights before he managed to catch her. So, I don't know. The impulse line doesn't really seem to do it for me. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I no, laugh don't. at your unfortunate life events. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> A fly bearing a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to use the same joke twice in an OP. Always yeah. good. <laughs> well, you were gone for a while. <laughs> what do you mean, what do you, girl? What do you mean you were poor? You had the most valuable thing in all of Hyrule. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? There's only four of these in the fucking planet. You had one of them. Do you have any idea what you could get if you sold this at auction? <laughs> but um. <laughs> Seven rupees? The, um, the, the thing is, I'm pretty sure that she keeps doing this if you, um, if you say the wrong things and you, you don't get the bottle unless you go back and catch her again and say the right things. Yep. And she'll keep on saying the same shit. I love the animation where Link just takes two very small steps to the left so she can just run a straight line past him. I love punk this animation like that in video games. It always cracks me up. <laughs> 